Hey guys, what's up, your boy Bumbledron, back out of another video. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the final skin in this battle pass. At least final style skin, whatever, from this battle pass. Last time, we would have took a look probably at the camo war machine from the quest rewards. Today, though, we are taking a look at Captain Jones's pen and ink style. Which, if you're wondering, where is the pen and ink style from? It is from the Deadpool and Wolverine skins that we got recently being here there's Deadpool's pen and ink and Wolverine's pen and ink kind of the same style but yeah as always with these videos I have two presets one sort of a more Captain America style the other is a preset for um you'd say more like keep them as cell shade design obviously because this skin being pen and ink is a cell shaded design so yeah if you like this, hit the like button, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you guys know when I go live and when I upload all that good stuff. And yeah, without further ado, let's go into creative mode and take a look at Captain Jones in his pen and ink style, along with his other preset. Let's go. So, here you have Captain Jones in all of his glory, which, honestly, I was expecting to hate the style for the skin. Usually the cell shade stuff just does not work for me, but... My god, this actually looks amazing. Like, it looks better in Deadpool, looks better in Wolverine, and probably, to me, looks better than in Gwen's one, which, yeah, you know, tied, tied for first. But still, it actually looks great. The addition of both Captain America shades that we have, I kind of wish I put the uh, back bling one as the pickaxe and swap them around, but it still works regardless. Take a look at the skin itself, you can obviously see Jones' face here. It's just all the cell shade stuff. Kind of like his uh, Chapter 5 Season 1 skin that had whenever Peely gets uh, kidnapped and all that sort of stuff with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He had a skin with a cell shade version, which looked pretty decent for what it was. But the best thing about this is you actually got the red, white and blue colour scheme for his outfit. Because the original was like blue and silver, and then the secondary was black and red, or that dark navy and red, kind of like US Agent. Which I actually really like the look of this. Um, I kind of wish you could turn the cell shade off just to get these colors normally, but I understand why they've done it just to, you know, fuck with people to some extent. But so, it's very nicely done. Obviously, the blue is much more vibrant, the red is much more vibrant, and then the white is as vibrant as white can be for this. Um, you can see, you know, onto the shoulders with the little star and stripes on each side. You know, even the brown is like really vibrant and bright for it. For like the belts and the harness, there like bits around his arms. Then you see his trousers full on are just blue with the red boots with like the white toes to them and everything. It just looks great. I love the way it looks. Now, as I said, I have both Captain America shields on. The one for the back bling is actually Sam Wilson's Captain America shield from Falcon and Winter Soldier. Or Captain America and Winter Soldier, even though they called it Falcon and Winter Soldier. Then the pickaxe version is the one from the original Captain America from Chapter 2 Season 4. Which, you know, doesn't matter which way you have them, you know, even if I'd selected both or one for both, you know, kind of know how these work, I'm sure by now. But still, you can see how the swishing effect works. Uh, it's, I assume it would be the exact same for the other shield, which is all right looking. Obviously, we have other pickaxes and stuff like his own uh, shield and pickaxe combo, but it doesn't look terribly well, in my opinion, with this. With that, though, we have the Captain America, which is obviously his llama bird thing, um, squawking and fucking off again, which. Still don't understand. I, well, I understand it, but I still don't get the point of it, in a way. But, it could be worse. So, yeah. That's going to be it for this preset. Let's go take a look at the other one. Trying to keep an, try and keep it in the realm of uh, cell shade. Let's go. So, keeping on track with the cell shade, so to speak. And like the anime, animated look. Obviously, it's more cartoon than anime. But... With the cell shade, I decided to go with My Hero Academia pickaxe, pickaxes from Todoroki, as you can see. Just how the swing, swoosh, and everything works in that. 
And then I decided to also give him Master Roshi's pickaxe, or sorry, back bling from Dragon Ball. Um, I point, you know, I kind of just searched what I knew you would sell shade, and the back bling itself actually looks really well to me for some reason. Like, I, I would actually see myself rocking Master Roshi's shell with Jonesy, or Captain Jones, just gonna call him Jonesy. But, the obviously, the pickaxe was a last second throw. Um, I was actually gonna throw on Master Roshi's. Uh, staff as well, but I was like, nah, I feel like that would be a bit too on the nose. But yeah, I'm sure you know there's plenty, <clears throat> there's plenty of different um, pickaxes and stuff that I'm sure you can use. Um, all the Dragon Ball cosmetics, all of my hero, all the Naruto, JJK as well, Jujutsu Kaisen. You know, there's all those different things. There's even like the customizable Academia ones that I use from time to time as well for videos but you know it, you can see the emote again just with this style of our preset not that it changes much but it is what it is but yeah overall I like it again I would change pickaxes for this style maybe even give him one of those shields just for the, like Sam's shield for the sake of it being like more brighter and vibrant compared to the OG Captain America shield from this game but Either way, I like it. I think this is a very good combo. Well, you know, if that was obviously the shield. Overall, the skin is very nicely done. And being the last reward from this whole battle pass, I was kind of expecting it to be worse, as I said at the some point throughout this video. But I'm happily surprised, which is all that matters. So, yeah, that is going to be it, though, for this video, so I don't make it too long. If you like this, hit like button, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you guys know when I go live and when I upload all that good stuff. And yeah. But for now, that is it. I shall see you guys soon with more Fortnite content being the level up pack for the season and the super style videos, which I believe I already have a super style video done. But you know, you'll you'll figure it out when I upload stuff. But yeah, this will be up on Wednesday. Then I'll start with Super Styles and stuff after this goes out. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys soon with that. Goodbye.